like uh, playing with uh, Scott and the rest of the guys? Oh, uh, it's been great. Uh, probably like maybe two weeks in with these guys. So uh, the chemistry is starting to get there. We're starting to build a bond on and off the court. Um, we're extremely talented. I feel like our depth is what's going to make us kind of go far here. And I'm excited for, for what we have in store. Yes, sir, you played in the summer league uh, a few months back. So how did that help you with this team uh, here in the mm -hmm. World Cup? Oh, for sure having me um, automatically coming in in shape, mm -hmm. uh, being with Golden State the whole summer, going through that summer league and going straight from there to uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, I feel like I've been locking in more in treatment for my body because it is going to be a long, it's going to be from summer league straight here to the World Cup, right into training camp. So I feel like taking care of my body right now is the most important thing. And like I said, I feel like it's just preparing me every single time. Summer league's getting me ready for the World Cup. The World Cup's getting me ready for training camp. Do you by chance have spoken to Coach Steve Kerr about uh, your stint here? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. When we were in Granada, when USA played Spain, I went to the game and talked to him there. Uh, He's out here now. We'll probably meet up for dinner or something out here. But yeah, it's just amazing telling me have fun, enjoy it while I'm here. This is a great experience, wonderful opportunity. And like I said, I feel like with the team and the talent we have, we have a chance to make some noise here. What are your expectations playing here in the Philippines, especially in the Filipino crowd as a crazy mm -hmm. basketball fan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I saw it automatically at the airport, just coming out and just seeing like the, the, the genuine love. And, and it's a lot of pure people out here. It's just amazing to kind of be a part of that and have fans here. Um, globally coming all the way across the country and still having people scream my name and know who I am is just amazing and I feel like that's what helps me go and I'm, I'm ready to put on a show for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're a very well coached team. Their coach is very disciplined. Uh, they like to play up tempo, fast pace. Um, I feel like with myself and Kat bringing that kind of NBA level transition and kind of playing up pace we kind of speed us up a little bit but uh, the other guys here who kind of been playing here for years they have the slow kind of run the sets run the plays and execute so I feel like mixing in that together I feel like we're gonna have a chance to win you're going up against the home country mm -hmm. and you said when you arrived here in the Philippines you already felt the love of the Filipinos mm -hmm. are you gonna do you think you're still gonna feel the love when you go uh, up against the last <laughs> hopefully hopefully with me regardless of the crowd I feel like the bigger the crowd the better I play so whether it's a crowd booing me or it's a crowd cheering me on, I feel like either way, the the, the switch kind of flips on for me. Talking about coaching, I'm an Argentinian journalist, so I would like to ask you, how do you feel having Mesto on your bench, mm -hmm. supporting you and coaching? Oh, it's amazing, man. He's such, like going earlier to what I said about the, the fans pure, being pure here, he's just such a pure man on and off the court. Uh, I feel like his experience is amazing. I just love the way he kind of just pushes you as a coach and kind of just keeps it 100. He, he's very blunt with coaching. Uh, he doesn't take nothing from anybody, and like I said, he's one of those coaches who will back you up a thousand percent. Appreciate him, and I, I'm honored to play for him. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm.